Well, good morning. I am, as always, on my way to boot camp. I definitely need boot camp today as a stress reliever more than anything. Today is a stressful day for me. I gave you guys an update on Lola a couple of weeks ago in a What I Eat in a Day. Well, today is the day that she goes back to the oncologist. She is supposed to be having an ultrasound of her neck and an ultrasound of her stomach today to figure out why her calcium levels are so high in her blood and her protein levels are so high in her urine. Well, over the last couple of weeks, that small, what we think to be that son, sab manular, submandular lymph node, or potentially even a saliva gland has tripled in size, quadrupled in size. It is about this big on the right side of her neck. Now, I don't think that it has anything to do with her cancer with lymphoma, but I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but it's definitely grown. I don't know that it's grown much over the last few days, but over the last couple of weeks, it is much, much larger. It is firm like a swollen lymph node would be, but I, like I said, I don't think it's the lymph nodes associated with lymphoma, but I'm not 100% sure. So she, she is acting completely normal. She's eating, she's drinking, she's playing. I have been just worried about it for the last two weeks. I even felt like when I got back from my little two day trip to San Diego that it had even grown. So I'm really happy we're going into the oncologist today but I don't know if we want to reroute what we're doing at the oncologist today. I don't know if we want to do ultrasounds or if we want to focus on that. So I'm going to call them first thing this morning. She has an appointment at 11 and I'm going to just confirm that they don't want to change anything with her appointment. So I'm stressed out as always when it comes to her and if there's anything remotely wrong with her. When they called me about her calcium being high in her blood, they talked about there being potentially a growth or nodule on her saliva gland or thyroid gland or even that lymph node that surgery is required to remove it. So I'm just afraid that that's where we're at. So it's just been a stressful couple of weeks, not gonna lie. I've been trying to keep my mind off of things and I feel grateful and thankful that she's not feeling sick. So it's just that swollen area on her neck. So we're going to do that today. I have a lot to do around the house. I need to give you guys an update on my coach, on my fitness coach, because boy, has that been a disaster. So I'll be giving you guys an update on that today. Of course, sharing with you everything I'm eating. I have a really good dinner recipe plan. I just need to work off some of my stress and anxiety here at boot camp. It definitely helps me with that. And then I'm going to go home, get ready for the day, and I will see you back at breakfast. I am home. I am ready for the day. I'm wearing this cute little dress from Halara. I actually hauled this quite a while ago when I worked with Halara. I love this so much. If you are someone that plays pickleball, plays tennis, or if you're like me and you just like to be comfortable in the warmer months, these dresses are amazing see if i can find this one and link it down below for you like i said i got it quite a while ago but it is from the brand halara it's going to be about 75 degrees today so right now it's a little bit chilly i may pop on a little denim jacket with this but once it warms up it's going to be perfect i've been home for about an hour and a half from boot camp and i'm getting super super hungry i just took my vitamin c and my multivitamin for the day and now i'm going to take my bellway fiber gummies look at how cute their new packaging is i absolutely love it I repackaged the gummies and they're even better tasting than they were before they look like little raspberries and the flavor is raspberry lemon they've always been really really good and really effective but they're even better now they're a lot softer and squishier than they used to be. And like I said, they redid the packaging, which is a big improvement. I take the Bellway gummies on the days that I go to boot camp. I don't use just because I don't want to take any type of fiber supplement before boot camp because it's outside and I don't really have access to a restroom. So as soon as I get home and get ready for the day, I always take my Bellway gummies. You're going to take three of these as a serving. They're only 10 calories, zero points, and you're going to get four grams of fiber. They're 100% vegan, fully organic, and they have no added sugar. A lot of gummy supplements have a lot of sugar. In fact, you have to track a lot of gummy supplements, but the Bellway Super Fiber Gummies have no added sugar. They taste really good. Definitely raspberry with a little hint of lemon. I love these. Both Troy and I take these super, super effective. They help with a happy gut, give you some smooth moves, less bloating, clear skin, and healthy hair, 
improved heart health and help balance your weight. Having a healthy gut is essential to weight loss and Bellway definitely helps regulate a healthy gut. I will link Bellway down below for you with a discount. Now let's have some breakfast. If you know, you know. This is one of my favorite breakfasts. These are the real good breakfast sandwiches. 14 grams of protein, 260 calories. This is what they look like. So it's bacon, egg, and cheese. And then the bun, the bun of these is cauliflower, but you would literally never know. It's so incredibly good. I pop these in the microwave for about 90 seconds and they come out perfect every time. And then I'm going to have some blueberries as well. So I have protein and healthy carbs for breakfast. So here's my breakfast, my real good sandwich. And I have 50 grams of blueberries. I started my first water for the day, mixed in my one up pre pure rebuild in pineapple. This is a creatine supplement from one up. I love one up. I actually shared this with you guys in Wednesdays. Last Wednesday is what I eat in a day because my order came in. Love, love, love this pure rebuild creatine. I'll link one up for you guys too. I have a 20% off discount. So I added that. I'm going to put some ice in there. So this is my breakfast for today. And then I want, and then we're going to swap out the decorations in my office, in my background in my office. I have some St. Patrick's Day lights up and a couple little St. Patrick's Day decorations. And we're going to transition over to Easter. So I have this little St. Patty's Day sign here that I got at the Dollar Tree. We're going to take that down. I just keep my decorations in a bin in my closet. And then I have these cute little St. Patty's Day lights that you guys saw in my background. I got these on Amazon. I'm going to take those down as well. And then for Easter, I've got this cute little egg garland. I don't even know where this is from. I think it's from the Dollar Tree, the $3 Dollar Tree a while ago. And then I got this cute little bunny garland, this cute little Easter sign, this bunny bait sign, and then I have some Easter shaped little LED lights that will swap out for those shampoos. Rocks. Look how cute these little Easter egg lights are. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate for Easter. I've put the St. Patrick's Day stuff away. The Easter lights came with a remote. I don't know that I'll use that. I'll link these lights that I bought off Amazon. I have St. Patrick's Day, Easter, and 4th of July lights, all that I bought on Amazon. Okay, these are so cute. To look at the little fun Easter lights. And then I put the Happy Easter on this shelf. And then I added the little bunny bait sign next to my other light. I love this light too. I got that on Amazon. I'll link everything I have down below for you. But I love this little bunny bait sign. I think this is the perfect just right amount of Easter for my background. I can't think, I don't really have a place to hang these garlands. I was thinking maybe putting some on this little shelf over here, but it's so small and the garland is so long that I don't think that that's going to work. So what I'm planning on doing is utilizing this garland in my actual house. We may decorate for Easter as well because I do have just a couple St. Patrick's Day things out out in the house and I do want to put up a few things for Easter. So I'm just going to set these aside and we'll actually put these out as house decorations. And then this is the other thing I recently got. I again got this off of Amazon. They have these cute little customized lights. It says tribe with a heart. And it sits actually right next to my makeup vanity right above where I store all my eyeshadow palettes. You can't, you can see it in the background of my videos, but it looks like this pretty blurry, but I wanted to show it to you guys because it's super cute, super affordable if you're looking for customized neon. There is a remote for it and then just a switch as well to turn it on and off. Now that we're decorated for Easter, I have a little bit of cleaning that I want to do. I need to scrub my kitchen sink and Troy also wants to wash the car. This is the coolest cleaning brush. It actually comes with six replaceable brush heads two speeds high and low, a fully adjustable handle. I love that the handle is ergonomic and retractable with three adjustable angles. So the head of the cleaning brush can adjust to 90 degrees, 135 degrees, and 180 degrees with one simple button. That way you can make sure that you're not bending over, hurting your back, or causing any other physical issues when you're cleaning, and especially when you're scrubbing hard to clean areas. It has two cleaning speeds and a powerful turbo speed. If you use high speed it's about 400 rpm this is for deep cleaning and enhancing overall cleaning efficiency the low speed is 300 rpm for really effortless daily cleaning six replaceable cleaning brush heads are amazing everything from bathrooms bathtubs to sinks narrow corners tile walls 
walls, glass, tires, and even cars. It's super fast charging with USB. With about a three hour charge, you can operate it for about an hour and a half. And this is on high deep cleaning speed. The red light on the wand will indicate that charging is needed and the flashing green light will show that it is charging and a solid green light indicates that it's fully charged. I love that this is cordless, so once it's charged, there's no cord to haul around, so you can use this in every room in your home. So the dome brush is great for cleaning irregular surfaces like bathtubs and sinks. The large flat brush is fantastic for cleaning walls and floors. The corner brush is what I use to clean my kitchen sink. This is great for wall corners and furniture edges, and for me, it worked really well in my rounded sink. And then the chenille mop is what we use to wash our cars. And then the scouring pad and the two sponges are great for kitchen grease and grime. My kitchen sink looks amazing. The floor in my office. I had quite a few scuffs on the floor of my office. Those are all cleaned off. And next to tackle is my shower. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm really loving this. I love that it's so easy to store. It comes with the hook for storage, the mesh bag for all of the cleaning brush heads. And I just put it in my laundry room next to my duster, my mop, and my vacuum. So really easy to store. You can just stick it on the wall and it's out of the way and everything is within reach. I just ordered mine directly from Amazon. Super easy, delivered to your doorstep and the entire system is less than $50. Definitely, definitely recommend if you want easy and effective cleaning. So I'll make sure I link it down below for you. Can I do a venti iced Americano uh, with the four shots? And then can I have the lavender flavoring? Did you say a venti iced Americano? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. No, that's okay. Like, it's a little bit bigger, yeah. Oh, there's because the garbage truck is right there. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Yeah. Right. And then you want lavender powder? Yeah. Or? Can I have okay. that and then a little bit of cream, like half the amount of normal? Yeah, of course. And that's it. Cool. I will see you soon. Thank you. All right. So here is the coffee. There's not a lot of cream in here. I didn't want to say anything because there was a million people in the drive-thru, but I did ask for light cream and this doesn't look like there's any cream. And the lavender flavoring is a powder. Uh, she did charge me a dollar extra for lavender powder. I can smell the lavender. I'll tell you one of my favorite coffees, I actually had it for the very first time when I was in Hawaii, is lavender honey. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And then I had it when I hiked the falls here in out in Tucson too. So let's try this out. I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to do the matcha or the cold foam. I just want to try the lavender flavoring. Ooh, that is so good. Mmm. It has a more fruity note, and then you do taste the lavender, but it's not like you're drinking flowers. Incredible. I love lavender in my coffee, so I'm excited Starbucks has this. Uh, this will be my go-to until they no longer have it. In the same parking lot of Starbucks is TJ Maxx. So I'm quickly going to run in here. Our time, we're, in, we're at 9.15, so I have an hour and 15 minutes before I have to leave with Lola. So I'm gonna run in here, see if I can find something for my mother-in-law for her birthday. They don't open till 9.30. So we've got about 15 minutes before they open. So I think I'm just gonna sit in my car and enjoy my coffee and we'll try again at 9.30. While I'm waiting to go into TJ Maxx, I'm going to have a morning snack. I'm getting a little bit hungry. These are the midday squares. I talked about these in a video. I don't remember if it was my favorites or just a what I eat in a day, but I love these. If you're looking for a good snack with amazing macros, I definitely recommend these. This is the peanut butter. It's 170 calories, four grams of fiber and six grams of protein. So really, really good macros. Great way to get in fiber. They taste really good. They do have to be kept refrigerated. I will link them down below. I don't have a discount or anything for them, but I'll link their website. You can also find these at your grocery stores like Sprouts and Whole Foods. And here's what it looks like. So it has this thick chocolate on top and then the peanut butter bar. Mm. Really good. Like I said, amazing, amazing macros. Not a protein supplement, not a high amount of protein, but great protein fiber calorie ratio and nice clean ingredients. All right, take two. All right, it is almost 10 o'clock, quick TJ Max haul. I debated on what to get my mother-in-law. I had a couple things in my cart, took them out, and I opted for things I think she will actually use. So 
These immediately spoke to me for my mother-in-law. She loves blue. In fact, her kitchen has a lot of blue, her home decor. So this is a three pack of towels, three pack. Yeah, three pack. I actually really like this middle one. These are Better Homes and Garden spring towels. They were $9.99. So I got her those. And then I decided to get her a candle and I saw this one as I was walking towards checkout and it screams her to me. This is from the brand Rachel Zoe and this is fresh linen. It actually smells really good and I think that these two things together look really cute. And then I got her a card as well. I was trying to see if I could get her some little sweet treat to throw in her bag, but she's gluten-free and I couldn't find anything other than watermelon slices. And I don't know if she would eat those there. She's pretty healthy. So I don't know that she would just eat gummy candy. So we're going to go with the candle and the kitchen towels. And then I got a toothpaste because I really like this Dr. Bronner's brand. And this was only $4.99. I got Palmer a toy because it's been a hot minute since I brought Palmer home a toy. And then I grabbed some dog treats. They had this full moon brand chicken nugget human grade on clearance for $4.50, which is really good. These are usually $7. And then this is a good brand too. This is the brand Play-Doh pet treats. These are the keep them busy duck and blueberry treats. And then from that same brand, I got the keep them busy chicken and apple. These were only $3.99 a piece. So that's everything from TJ Maxx. My total was right around $44. So let's, I have to quickly stop at the post office and then let's grab little Miss Lola and take her to her oncology appointment. All right, we are in the car headed to the oncologist. It's 1030, I should have grabbed a snack. I should have grabbed a snack. So my plan is the oncologist has a lymphoma appointment at noon. Those are pretty long appointments. They have to talk about treatment options, super sad. So our plan is to get there around 11 so that she can do a quick exam on Lola and then her and I can sit down and talk about the treatment options. The lymph node on Lola's neck is really big. Uh, I, so we're just kind of playing it by ear for now. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna find out today, but of course I'll keep you guys posted. I don't think you can really see it, but it's right there on her neck. This whole section right here is super enlarged. So that's what the doctor is gonna look at. That's what we're gonna do with the neck ultrasound. So send good vibes. So, um, Update on Lola. Um, it's not the calcium that is causing the lymph node enlargement. Um, unfortunately, she is out of remission from lymphoma. So her cancer is back. However, um, the good news is she's held, she's not sick. So that's great. The other good news is that we are, we've made the decision to go ahead and put her through the same chemo protocol that she went through first when she was first diagnosed with lymphoma. It's a very long protocol. It's very expensive. It's about five months of chemo treatment and over $10,000, but she is healthy enough to have the treatment. The treatment was extremely effective for her the first time. So it makes sense for us to do it again if we're able to give her the best chance at going back into remission and Hopefully it's quick. Hopefully the lymph nodes shrink quickly like they did the last time that she went through chemo. And hopefully quickly she'll go into remission again like she did last time. But that's kind of where we're at. She has been in remission over a year, which is above average. And she's just such a fighter. I just, I hate, I hate this for her. I hate that she has to go through this again. I hate it. She just doesn't deserve it, you know? But we're going to do what we have to do. And I just hope that it's as effective this time as it was the last time she had this protocol, this chemo treatment. 
I mean, obviously there's other treatments that she can have. We just kind of want to keep those treatments on the back shelf until we've exhausted this treatment since this one is the most effective. The remission time is typically about half of what it was the first time. And because she had quite a long remission, there's a likelihood that she could again have a long remission this time. I mean, that's the, obviously the ultimate goal. We are still concerned about her calcium, um, but right now we have to focus on the lymphoma. That's what is the most important right now. That's life-threatening for her, obviously. And uh, we also are still concerned about the protein in her urine and... We basically decided to not do any ultrasounds today since, again, we need to focus on the lymphoma. So they are going to give her a prescription for medication for the protein. They think it could be something with her endocrine system or potentially her kidneys. So we want to start with medication before we do ultrasounds and more tests and procedures. We want to just focus on medication to start and see if we can bring down her protein. And we're going to monitor her calcium very closely throughout her chemo protocol, make sure that it doesn't continue to go up. But at this point, it just doesn't make sense for us to go through the whole ultrasound and potential surgery. If there is a nodule on her thyroid that's causing the high calcium, it's just a lot right now. And our priority right now is the lymphoma. So that's what our focus is. I just... I knew I I'm prepared for this. Like I've been in anticipatory grief, like I said, for over a year. So I'm prepared for this, but you're never prepared for this. If you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's just, it sucks. I wish she didn't have to go through this. I wish that I could be sick and not her. I mean, the good thing is the takeaway. Well, the two good things is, is she's Oh, she's healthy and happy right now. She's not exhibiting any signs of cancer or sickness. And the other really good thing is, is that she doesn't know that she has cancer, right? She doesn't know. So I just hope that this works as good this time as it did last time with very little side effects for her. She actually sailed through chemo last time and did really well. It's just right now, everything's just up in the air. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I, I'm, I'm just trying to wrap my head around everything. Yeah, that's just kind of where I am right now with things. But I think I'm going to go grab something to eat since she's going to be here for probably an hour getting the chemo treatment. And again, we'll be back to weekly visits. She's going to have to come in every week for at least the first half and then put maybe every two weeks. We just It's all up in the air and I hate it. I hate that it's up in the air, but I mean, it is what it is. So... Yeah, that's kind of where we are. Uh, I'm gonna go grab some something for lunch. So for lunch, all I got was a Wendy's Junior Cheeseburger Deluxe. I'm hungry, but obviously my stomach's a little unsettled, so I'm just gonna have a quick burger for lunch. She's done with her first chemo. You can see her poor lymph nodes. They said that the swelling should go down relatively quickly, so we are done for today. I also got some medication for her for her high protein. In her urine, I ordered her anti-nausea pills off of Chewy, so those will come here in a few days once they approve them. So we're just going to go home, and I just want to make sure she doesn't have any belly upset. At least when she went through chemo last time, the main symptom she had was just digestive upset or belly upset. So they gave her some Serenia, which is the anti-nausea medicine IV when they did her chemo. So hopefully that prevents any nausea. And then I'll give her her medication for her protein in her urine tonight with some canned food. I'm just going to keep my eye on these lymph nodes and make sure that they do go down a little bit over the next couple of days. She has her little wrap on because all the chemo at three of the four weeks of chemo every month are done IV. It's just a lot for her. It was an $800 appointment today, but at least we were able to aspirate the lymph node and confirm lymphoma. And then they also took a sample of the little bump she has on her paw or on her leg. And they said, that's just a cyst, nothing to be worried about. So we got all the answers we needed today. Not necessarily the answers we wanted, but we got the answers we needed. For an afternoon snack today, I'm keeping it pretty simple. I'm gonna do the Oikos Remix, which is a healthier version of Chobani Flip. This one has 11 grams of protein, salted caramel, non-fat yogurt with sea salt, praline, pretzels, dark chocolate, and butter toffee. 
120 calories, 11 grams of protein. You just mix the little mix in in the yogurt and that's going to be my snack. So here is what that little yogurt looks like. It's so good with all those mix-ins. There's always something sweet and something crunchy, so it's the perfect combination. For dinner tonight, I'm making cottage pie. I've been craving this. I've been really craving mashed potatoes. And this is just a great way to get in protein and veggies. So let me show you what you'll need. You'll need a bag of frozen mixed vegetables, light shredded cheese, an onion, ground beef. I have 96, I have 93%. You could do 93 or 96. Tomato paste, salt and pepper, beef broth, garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce, and mashed potatoes. You can make your own, but I'm making my life easy and using these pre-made ones. So the first thing we're going to do is brown our ground beef and saute down our onions. Once your ground beef is cooked and your onions are sauteed down, we're adding in about a cup of frozen mixed vegetables, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and some salt and pepper. That all together until everything is combined. Then we're adding in about a cup of beef broth and two tablespoons of tomato paste. Reduce your heat and allow this to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. And in the meantime, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Okay, we are ready to put our cottage pie into the oven. So I have my mixture. I'm going to add it to the bottom of my baking dish. And then we're going to spread our mashed potatoes right on top. Now I did put my mashed potatoes in the microwave for just a couple minutes. Just helps make them a little bit softer. And then lastly, we're topping it with half of a cup of light shredded cheese. And we're popping this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. The cottage pie is out of the oven. This looks so good. It also smells really, really good. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. I'll serve it up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is my dinner. This looks so good. Packed with protein, veggies, potatoes for a carb. I'm excited to have this for dinner. And as always, tonight's dinner recipe will be on my recipe website. So it's the end of the night. I'm going to put my pajamas on, wash my face, spend some time with Lola. So for dessert tonight, I'm actually going to have a pure protein bar. I did not have two protein supplements today, just my protein coffee this morning. So I'm going to do this for dessert. This is the chocolate peanut caramel, 20 grams of protein, 190 calories. These to me taste legit like a candy bar. So they satisfy that dessert, that sweet tooth. And I'm gonna round out my day with 20 grams of protein. So that's a wrap on today's what I eat in a day. What a day, what a day we had. I will link everything I shared with you in the description box along with tonight's dinner recipe will be on my website, Nutrition Coaching, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you for watching. Send your good vibes for Lola and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.